Hey guys, so I'm being a little informal today. I'm kind of having a chill day, but I did want to include this in the vlog. I am making some Brussels sprouts, first time in my life. So we have the pans here with oil and salt. And then I needed to use up my juicing vegetables. So I did that here, but I was kind of bored with it. And I know at work we would blend it with some fruit. Blending it with some pineapple is a good way to get you know, a ton, of, a ton of vitamins and a ton of stuff that's really good for you. And I just washed everything so that I'd be, uh, it'd be easier to use them up, you know. So, yeah, just wanted to say hi. And we're, I just want to show you a little hack. Like, if you have trouble enjoying juice, you can always blend it with some pineapple. Let me know if you have any questions at all. I did work at a juice place if you're new, so I have a lot of cool hacks. All right, so I tried these this morning. They're okay, I tried them with a sandwich. And then I had these, they're on sale for 50 cents at Walmart. So I just mixed them with the broccoli. Looks pretty good. Come on now, this is like bodybuilder clean. I mean, maybe not the meat. We're, we're gonna have to add a tablespoon of ranch, okay? That's what we're gonna have to do. Baby steps and a very good meal compared to like the very unhealthy takeout food I was craving, so. Good step in the right direction. All right, so we have dinner. We have my bedtime tea and I put a little bit of creamer in. I did put a little too much. Hopefully it tastes okay. We have the Dave's Killer Bread that I showed you earlier. It's pretty good macros and I like barely put any butter on and a little sugar and some cinnamon and some strawberries. This was before I probably would have had a lot more butter and no fruit. So, small changes, and we'll put this into my fitness pal, and I'm still gonna be way under calories, so. Um, this is dinner. All right, so now we have dinner. I just have, uh, it's over a cup of Brussels sprouts, I would say, and then two Boca patties, and my little LaCroix, the carbonation helps me stay full, so hopefully I stop eating sweets at night. And then, let's be real, I didn't really salt the Brussels sprouts too much or anything like that. So we gotta have a little something something to actually enjoy the food because healthy food should still be enjoyable. Baby steps, incredibly healthier than what I normally eat. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this. This is very low carb. Just trying something kind of new. Obviously I'd love to have some rice with this, but we'll see how my body feels after. All right, you guys, here is the faux meat that I used. This is the package it came in. I got it at Fred Meyer. It has pretty awesome macros. Just washed sugar snap peas. And here's the little avocado. It's it, The recipe is from a pasta, but I just felt like it would taste good with my vegan meat and dipped in the sugar snap peas. And we have a brown tortilla. I am so proud of this. I'm excited. I, I'm really glad to eat healthy, blessed that I can, you know, afford it, and just really thankful for my food. All right, so here we have some protein pancakes and some eggs. It's I made two eggs and like a cup of egg whites. I only ha uh, ended up putting half on my plate. So this is my second meal of the day, and it's gonna be pretty good. I'm excited. I think I'm gonna make protein muffins from now on because these pancakes were kind of tough to make, so. Yay. All right, so here I have egg whites from yesterday. There's about an egg in there. Avocado, some hot sauce, and then my protein pancakes that just ended up being protein pieces. I think I'm gonna try to do muffins. So I just put a little bit of cinnamon, chia seeds, strawberry. Here's my lunch. So I just got back from the grocery store and I wanted to show you what I picked up. Only had a $50 budget and I just got under 50, like I think it was like $48. So let me show you what I picked up. So first we have egg whites. I picked these up because they're very low calorie, it's high protein, and it's a good filler. It's nice to add to things just so you get more protein. You can eat a lot for little calorie. So that's why I like getting egg whites. I like putting them in sandwiches and little burritos with rice and beans, things like that. Then I have some basil. So I made this avocado pasta 
yesterday and I want to try to make my favorite foods but a healthier version. I have thought about putting that in a series for part of like my fitness video of the week. So today I am gonna try to make that avocado pasta again, but the healthier version. And this time the store actually had basil. The store did not have basil yesterday when I went. So I'm really excited to add this to it because it does make a big difference in how it tastes. Sorry, I have dry mouth. I literally just got back from the store. So I'm like tired because I was like running around the grocery store because I just want to get out of there as soon as possible. All right, so next is these maple flavored sausage patties, just again to add to my little breakfast sandwich in the morning. I've been in a very intense breakfast sandwich phase and I wanna make sure I'm doing healthier versions of it and you know, just add fruit along in there and maybe some lemon water and just try to make it a little healthier, you know? Next, I got two kombuchas. If you follow the vlogs, you know I pick two up every time I'm about to start that time of the month and I'm about to start that time any day now. I already feel it, so I cannot have caffeine when I'm on that time. I literally like want to throw up, so those have some caffeine so i get through the day but it doesn't make me sick so if you like need caffeine but you notice it makes your cramps a thousand times worse um maybe try kombucha because that really helped me all right so next i have some green beans probably gonna add it with that avocado pasta and i'm just trying to have two cups of greens with every meal or one cup of green with a cup of fruit just trying to add more veggies into my diet these are sugar snap peas i like snow peas the best but the store didn't have any so again just to have on the side of something i picked up a faux meat so like i'll probably have half of this for a meal because i still want to have things that i enjoy because you gotta enjoy what you like if you want to make it a lifestyle but also you gotta throw in the really good stuff in so that's what i picked that up for and then oh here's the faux meat i was talking about so we have these field roast kind of nuggets i never tried these before you guys know i like trying different faux meats every time i go this one's a little pricier but i thought i'd spoil myself so whenever i have this i will have some of these it's like uh it reminds me of lunch from elementary school like yeah <laughs> some nuggets and then a little veggie i'm trying to cut down my dairy i did not find a dairy free cream cheese which they usually have so i got this chive and onion i don't like this that much and that's why i got it because then it's not tempting to slather all of this in just three breakfast worths because trust me i will do it so this is a way to get me to not have so much cream cheese and it works speaking of those bagels i did pick up like the healthier version this is dave killer's bread and if you didn't know they do help people that have people that normally wouldn't pass like a background check they give these they give people a chance and this company so i really appreciate that and it is in oregon yeah it is just right outside portland so good company to support and it's healthier whole grains i mean 13 grams of protein that's amazing so i shouldn't really get any other kind of bagel after you know realizing that these are so good for so many different reasons we always gotta have a berry they only really had strawberries and blackberries and a half the size of blackberries was the same price so i picked up strawberries hoping for raspberries but it's still pretty delicious two avocados i don't think they're gonna be ripe by the time i need i want to make my pasta today like really ripe like i want it but i'll try to google some ways to make them ripe super fast i think if you put them next to like ripe bananas they'll ripe really fast speaking of ripe bananas i did pick up some more brown ones because by the time i want to make protein pancakes like protein oatmeal pancakes they're already gone because i snacked on them so if i make them get them kind of brown i'm hoping i will make actually finally make the protein pancakes i will try to film that as well got a little lemon because i'm on a budget and it's just always good to have lemon for lemon water or that pasta oh i didn't get cucumbers cucumbers i've been wanting cucumbers so bad i'm gonna have to wait a few more days to where i can go get more food i got these brown eggs they had a new brand of brown eggs which i want to try next time i cannot really have normal eggs anymore after having these the normal white eggs just don't do it for me so i might boil some of these i might i mean i like cooking them in the morning so that is all i got for about 48 dollars the rest of this vlog and then just show you what i ate today today's gonna be daily vlog lots of work i still need to do the finishing touches touches for today's video which is friday's video this will probably go up 
next Friday in a week or something. I'm not sure. But anyway, thanks for watching this part of the vlog. And I'll see you guys probably when I eat something. Which are probably going to be those nuggets. Alright, you guys. I know it's not like super clean but it's just reality so what I normally would have done is eat the entire package but I put half of it I counted it and I put half away and then I got two cups of these green beans so we got about half a bag there but let's be realistic eating this it would be tough without anything so baby steps uh, to get me to have more greens all the time and less processed stuff and I know this isn't good for you but it's just like how I'm transitioning so we are going to measure out a tablespoon of ranch and then a tablespoon of the Chick-fil-A sauce I know random one serving size is two but we're just going to do one and we'll start off with that and try to not have much more sauce than what I put on my plate by the way, it is the same day that I went grocery shopping. I'm just wearing a thicker sweater because it is freezing in my house and I could not find a, a real tablespoon, so I have to use this one. I could not find it anywhere. I just feel like I'm already gonna need to, it, it, oh my gosh, everything is a mess, you guys. I feel like I'm gonna need two. All right, let's do one and a half because I just feel like I'm gonna come back and then feel guilty. So let's do one and a half for each. All right, there we go. Let's see how this lunch goes. Hi guys, <laughs> my hair looks so funny. So it is about four o'clock and I have some good news. The method of having two cups of veggies with those chicken nuggets actually made me full and I did not need more sauce. I thought I was gonna need more sauce. I thought I was still gonna be hungry but the method worked. Like I said, I am a few days from my period and I'm just like emotional wreck, so I'm having like all these thoughts, but because I know it's like my body, my hormones, not to take these negative thoughts too seriously. So just letting you know why I'm a little low energy today. But here's a little snack I'm having. I don't know what I'm gonna have for dinner. I should probably start planning that. You know, it's important to have a plan because you don't wanna just go off of you know what you're craving i've done really well today i'm really excited i really need to start focusing on keeping my calories not overeating on my days off because that is the worst day to overeat i know they say you should have your cheat day like after your hardest workout because you're like already burning things in your body but i hate that method like maybe later in the day i feel like i've totally thrown a workout away but yeah, definitely not thinking of any fun meals for a few days, but I really, really enjoy this. It's just apples and oranges, because I need to use them up before they go bad, with a little lemon, a little pink Himalayan salt, and tahini. So yeah, I'm like still at a thousand calories today, which is pretty good considering I eat close to like 3,000, I think sometimes on a bad day. So I'm pretty impressed with myself, proud of myself. It's just one day and just kind of try to recognize the methods I use today to have a good day. So I am reading Brian Tracy's book. If you don't know, that changed my life a few years ago. So I'm just rereading it and actually doing the activities that are after each chapter. And I read another Christian book before that. Well, a chapter in that. And I don't know, maybe I'll eat, read a chapter. I'll eat a chapter in my emotional eating book. Perhaps I'll read a chapter in that. But I definitely want to stay away from like the news and social media. That's just such a waste of time for me right now. I'm also thinking I need to do more like four videos a week. But then what would that fourth video be that of a week? So yeah, just doing some thinking, some reflection. At the same time, not taking these crazy thoughts I have super seriously because I'm just kind of emotional right now. So anyway, I'm going to enjoy this. 